I can remember when me and Shauna first started dating. The only line of communication we had outside of school was the landline telephone. And, you know, sometimes it would seem like forever until we talked to each other, right? If somebody in the house had to use the phone and we couldn't speak to each other, or God forbid the phone line was out, we just had to wait until we seen each other at school again to talk to each other. Because you didn't have all this fancy texting and Facebook and all that stuff. Because we're old, right? And you didn't have those things oh. around. But uh, it was just hard to not communicate with someone that you love so much and you wanted to be, talk to and you wanted to know what was going on. But today we're going to talk about a different aspect of Christmas in our fifth installment of our Christmas 2022. And that's that it was 400 years God was silent before Christ was born. That's right. You know, uh, <clears throat> we are in a season that we get to share the light. And we really have a hard time understanding just how much of a light Jesus was when he came. I'm Shauna. This is Pete. We're all Hugh Family Discipleship. And we love you. And we love God. And it is Christmas season. And we are not here to entertain you. But we are here to help disciple you. Um, this is Golly Hugh Family Discipleship. And we know that studying the Word of God is going to change your life. It's transform you as you follow Christ. So, um, the book of Malachi chapter 4 actually says, what scripture is that? Which one's? Um, in in five verses 5 and 6, it says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Okay, so these were the last words spoken uh, by the prophets, right? Malachi was the last prophet of the Old Testament. Uh, we know that from the New Testament scripture, Jesus himself said that, John the Baptist came in the spirit of uh, Elijah. But we see this, that there's a 400-year period. You know, in the opening, I talked about how hard it was to go sometimes without speaking to the woman I love, right? To my Shauna. And just, just imagine 400 years of darkness. You know, I read uh, an article to where the children of Israel was in captivity in Egypt for 400 years. So uh, it's kind of like a reciprocation of that uh, bondage away from God. Uh, separated, being punished. And then all of a sudden, this light comes into the world. They had to be hungry. They had to be craving that Messiah. They had to be craving for someone to speak to them from God. You know, when tragedy or when tragedy strikes, when bad things begin to happen, if there is a, um, <clears throat> you find yourself in a dark place, uh, the darkness, uh, sometimes can just keep getting darker and darker and darker before you see any light, before you hear good news, before your uh, emotions get under control, before you feel loved again. And uh, it is a very difficult time. There is something that you need to hold on to. And you know, what the people had to hold on to was a promise. And it was a promise of a Messiah. It was a promise of a Savior. It was a promise of a King that would come and deliver and not just deliver them but deliver generation after generation after generation right and you know the they were obviously in captivity from rome right rome mm -hmm. would take over the, the the kingdom of israel and the city of jerusalem and they're waiting for this rescue from rome and then this guy starts talking out in the wilderness, right? The prophet starts speaking again. Someone starts speaking from God, and it's John the Baptist, mm -hmm. and it's Jesus' cousin. He's out in the wilderness. He's preaching, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make it straight, right? The, uh, the, the, the judgment is coming. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is hand. And this guy starts preaching. Then all of a sudden, instead of a prophet speaking to men, God himself comes and speaks in the form of Jesus Christ. That's right. You know, it is an amazing, wonderful thing when God shows up, when he reveals to us his promises, when he says, okay, you've been waiting, you've been waiting all this time. I'm not going to make you wait anymore. Bam, he's here. He's here. Um, a king has been born, and, and it was a wonderful thing, in a way that the Bible tells us even that John the Baptist was born. You know, his parents struggled with infertility, but they were just being prepared for this great man of God that they were going to deliver, that they were going to raise because he was the forerunner for Christ. And then Jesus, you know, steps in a few months later, and then we find that uh, it was a humble beginning, but it was a humble beginning because it needed to be because it needed to be so that everyone was included. 
Right, and you don't want to miss out on it. No. Nope. Right here, they waited 400 years for God to speak, and God shows up himself, and they missed it. Mm -hmm. People were still missing it today. Yeah. Uh, they see a baby in the manger, but they have not surrendered their hearts or have not given their life to Jesus Christ. The resurrected Right, king. And, and they don't live for the Lord, mm -hmm. and they've missed it, and they will pay for missing it, too. Don't we don't want you to do that, right? No. We want you to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. We want you to inherit eternity uh, in God's kingdom and live with him forever. And you don't have to live in darkness. There's there's not a time now to where the prophets aren't speaking. There's not a time now to where the word of God is um, not alive. It's always alive. Because or, we have access to Jesus. That's right. God gave us a, a, a great And his word. Gift. Written that's word. Right. Oh my goodness. You, right. you have his word. All 66 books. Absolutely. He talks to you all through it. Absolutely. But we want just to encourage you uh, that you will exalt God encounter God, edify yourself by reading the word of God and engage this world for Jesus Christ. It's a great time to shine the light of Jesus Christ. So until next time, God bless. God bless.